In a stream last night that was actually incredibly tough to watch, I'm going to break down for all of you guys the update on the situation which we broke down yesterday. In case you guys missed that Hunter T. Tommy video, make sure to check it out. Majority of the clips in that video will explain the situation of him exposing a cheater live on stream just last night in a brief interview with that same supposed cheater and a third party known as Rafi, who is a recruiter and also a friend of Pace, uh, potentially trying to make a, a future team which might have included Pace until the events that did unfold. So I'm going to play for you guys several clips around this argument. And again, I can guarantee to all of you guys, this was not fun for anyone involved, that including Tommy, who has been probably put through a lot, I imagine, over the past 24 hours. And it's been um, it's been a crazy ride, especially all of this stemming from the fact we don't have an anti-cheat that could simply tell us whether or not this person is cheating. Now it's left down to the de detective work, which has truly gotten down and dirty. I'm going to play for you guys the first clip of Rock introducing himself again this is a third party and a friend of pace who potentially was going to recruit him as well i'm in conversations with a, a celebrity to manage a team and part of that team included pace part of that team includes people that are um are still going to be part of it right and and the thing is in the end when it comes to pace specifically it's weird that i'm talking about him in third person he he's a friend he's somebody that i was um in disc while all of this was happening last night okay now let's make this very clear pace is somebody that is 19 years old right pace you're 19. and the next clip we're going to talk about is pace being just a kid an important point to bring up because anyone watching this video who goes and sends threats or weird messages Please don't, okay? It's not funny. And again, you got to remember this kid is just 19 years old. Those messages and those things being sent his way can really take a toll mentally. I speak from personal experience. Don't be that weirdo who has to have has some weird reason to pursue him, okay? Like I said yesterday, just watch the video, form your own opinion. And if you want to put tweets out publicly, fine. I guess if you really need to, don't be the person to send things directly or go after Pace personally. It's not cool. Or funny but I think it is a great point to bring up he is just a kid pace is somebody that is 19 years old right pace you're 19 uh, yeah he's 19 years old he's a kid I hate this excuse and when you have a grown-ass man that's 28 years old this is the dumbest excuse ever FK for two hours and you need to kind of like you, you need to talk about what was going yeah, i'm in the call by the way chat i'm in the call with with that piece um because that's the that's the number one thing that people are saying right now in, in the webs can i yo I, I just been dragged over right can i just say a couple of things before anything else is said 100 oh, percent, tommy hi how are you all right i'm not too bad but I, I put your stream on right and the first thing you said is you mentioned pace as being a kid right pace is 19 he's young yeah. and you called me a grown-ass man coming for a kid right you put he that across what? yeah you put that across terribly because that's not what happened it doesn't matter. 19 isn't a kid, right? And I've said numerous times, people make mistakes. Sure, right? you have. Everyone, mm -hmm. they should be held accountable. I've done mm -hmm. numerous different efforts to try and stop people as good as, as best as I can. I even, Pace hasn't said this, right? I did try and contact Pace. But albeit, let's make sure to remind all of you guys as well, I've covered a lot of kid cheaters out there. It does not save you from the repercussions of your actions. Let's make that very clear. Also a point out there, a lot of people coming after Tommy because apparently he's a grown man going after this kid who is cheating. Tommy's been doing this for quite some time, trying to expose people who do cheat and have a history of cheating. And he actually does prove that he had tried to contact Pace privately after some of the events had unfolded and tried to talk him through it, of which Pace did not respond. Fuck anyone that's sending you abuse or anything of the sort, try my best to stop that. I, right? It's pretty um, evident you've been doing some shady things, but like I said, if you want to talk off stream, we can. 10 p 1050. Bumping nobody, this again. 1128. Really Heading to bed now, but we'll be about early if you decide to change your mind. I know you've seen the message and chose not um, to respond. You won't follow in the last half hour. I don't want anyone sending you more hate or message or threats. You want to talk to you privately and help. 1.13 a.m. And then 10 seconds later, you killed me. So let's just clear it up, Tommy. I have, I have the utmost respect for you and, and anybody else. Okay. You see that shit? You know, like the, the situations were handled the, the way that they wanted. Specifically. I should have talked to Pace privately. No. 
since 7.19 to 1 a.m. I tried. And then we get into the very serious stuff. Uh, one of the biggest accusations was when all these accusations against Pace did occur during this very, very menial tournament, he went AFK for a couple of hours. Admins tried contacting him for a PC scan and he went AFK for nearly two hours, which is obviously, if you guys are ever accused cheaters, it's not something you wanna do. It is super suspicious. You have clearly, you know you cheated, right? There's no denying the clip. When I asked you to show your monitor, you do the whole, you literally bring up the cheats, you then close them down. You slowly turn the camera. That is the poorest excuse, by the way. The poorest. Is not the way that he should have reacted. Period. You just react how you react. I told him that. Other people. Other people have told him that. You don't go AFK when you get when you get accused or a, when you get accused of what it is that you're getting accused of. And that's what he did. He went and talked to his dad. He talked to me. Um, and then next up, the death threats, because it's it's really a classic online. I actually can't do many videos. Uh, I've actually can't do many tweets myself without people sending weird threats. It's kind of the culture online, sadly it is. So naturally, when Tommy does these kind of things in front of thousands of people, people are going to send death threats or whack messages. Tommy has done, I believe, everything in his power on stream and via Twitter as well to remind his audience not to do these things. It's unfortunately, okay? I don't approve of this. I think it's actually very sad in a case like this because if if this indeed is a cheater, whether or not he is a kid, if Pace did cheat like he does futurely admit to, he does deserve a punishment, but that punishment should not be random people sending him death threats. And I think a lot of us can agree with that. It is a sad part of the online culture that it's pretty much going to happen no matter what you do, no matter what warnings you put out there, which again puts Tommy in a tough spot when he exposes people like this. And then Tommy goes on to explain the big clip of evidence of which he accuses pace of taking off his cheats right taking him away i'm going to play for you guys first uh, in this brief interview when they bring this clip up and i'll play for you the clip from yesterday's video where tommy explains at length the biggest piece of evidence of where he thought pace was potentially trying to hide or, or take away his cheats i'll show you the time in the chat there right there okay <sighs> mm -hmm. so watch his face like this direction I don't know where the fuck it is from. reads the message right here because it's a long ass period He's in a semi-finals against Scumming and Rated. He has self-revive. Self-revive. Looks in the sky. Goes on his keyboard. He's now doing something on his keyboard. Still calling out. I didn't even f block this now. I've watched it back. He said he was on his other monitor putting music on. Yet he calls out the guy to his left. The exact spot. And then he pretends to read this message. And he says, oh, yeah, sure, no worries, Tom. Is he cheating? Nah. And now this is where it gets even better. Oh, I ask him, why were you doing that? What did you touch? Tap you ready? Tap my game. Tap that his game, why? Why? It's because I was going to start some music up. Going to start some music up, he said, but never clicked play. And then he yeah. said his left Any monitor. Remember that part? If we... Yeah, if you want me to. Can you see his webcam on my stream, yeah? <sighs> yeah, yeah. You see his face? Yeah, mm. This is what his eyes look like when he looks to his left monitor. Where? Actually, I don't know where the fuck it is. That's what it looks like when he looks to his left monitor. Yeah, yeah, right there. Tell me when this guy goes down and touches his keyboard at any point he looks at his left yeah, monitor. Good. Yeah. And you know he's still tabbed in his game with a menu popping up on his screen because his face flashes red for the kill cam and then white for the kill cam. See that? White. Yeah. Well, you can tell when someone tabs out too because their frames will go down. Yep. Yo, PC5 boys. Uh, and his frames went down to 90 and then they went back up. I got I mean, I... Yep, and that's, that's the first thing I saw. And then I was like, right, okay, let's get deeper into this. And then... Um, he was in a call, Mr. Daft and the admins, okay? And the admins asked him um, to give him, like, show him his desktop and then run this scan repair thing on the PC and it'll show deleted programs or anything he's had on his PC, right, recently. He then went AFK for two hours and came back. Yeah. 
and then pretended he was talking to his dad for two hours. And this last clip, guys, is the longest one. It's the lengthiest one. I would say it's also the most important one. And hopefully the last time I'm talking about this until Tommy wants to expose someone else out there. It is very clear. If you guys want to check out, hey, if you want to check out Pace and, and, of course, his stream, we'll see what comes of that. You want to check out Tommy as well from yesterday's VOD. He goes on to talk about the struggles and how this has not been a fun last 24 hours and probably not expected to go to this length as well. This is a very important clip where Pace gives his response and Tommy gives his advice for a young kid who admits to cheating at least once in his past cues or go against or anything i'm just here to look at the look at the clips that you were looking at for four or five hours yesterday and say okay there's validity oh no no it. that's there's what i'm saying i don't pace. it doesn't let's talk about it it doesn't matter about the clips bro it's, it's the point of when asked and everything from that point onwards like i just want to know what pace is going to say i just want to know his response to all of it you don't know what's going in my head during that whole time no like if like, you're openly going to like come out with Tommy, it or Tommy. say it Tommy, I respect you as a person. I respect you as a player. You know, you're somebody I always look up to, right? In that moment, like, our cultures are so different, bro. Like, like in that moment, all I'm thinking about, like, I literally told Robbie the same thing. Literally, just thinking about my family, bro. No, no, but Pace, like, no, it's like, I, no, I understand mom, that. Like, literally, my parents were. Reacting. My mom was like, "Oh, I'm to like, what's happening? What's happening?" Like, like in that moment, I could give zero f what you're saying on my stream, bro. Like, no. I'm gonna go outside. What's wrong with my family? Talk to them. Make sure they're okay. Pace, Pace, that's not, bro. This is, I'm telling you, man, this is not the route to go. Like, I, please listen to me, Pace. Please. I promise you, it's got nothing to do with cultures. Because you read the message and your reaction after you then closed the cheats was to then show I your stream. I literally showed you my task manager. I showed every that's single file Pace, on my PC Pace. on stream. Oh, on stream. Pace, what's what? Okay, what are you gonna respond with the alts then? And second accounts where you're cheating. It's an alt account, bro. So you cheat on an alt account. One time. See, one time. I, I'm done, bro. I'm I done. Promise, I, 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 rap, 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 I I'm done. No, no, pace, pace, please. I'm gonna give you one bit of advice before I leave. Pace, pace. I'm gonna give you one bit of advice. Please stop, pace, pace. Please don't say another word. I'm gonna give you one bit of advice. The route you're going down is terrible. It is terrible. If you want to come out with any of any of dignity or respect, anything, you need to just come clean and say, yes, I, f I cheated. I may not have been cheating this day. I may not have been cheating that day, but you have cheated. You have just admitted it right there. Okay. Just please come clean. Admit it. Everyone will move past it, bro. I wouldn't give a shit, right? I, I'd support you in any way I can help you out. I'll be there for you as a friend, anything you need. You probably won't want any of that, but I promise you, man, the, the route you're going down where you say I cheated, but this time I didn't, and you try and defend everything. I promise you, man, it's not the route to go. Like, Tommy, man, like, can you just please, like, stop coming off, bro? Like, holy shit. I'm not like, coming off. No, I'm saying, though, like... like you, you keep cutting me off every time. You bro. just admitted you cheated. I wanted to say my final piece and literally leave. Every single time, bro. I, I'm that, like, same I've thing, got, like, I've, literally, bro. You just like, admitted. I get it. I'm a smaller streamer. Like, holy shit, like, literally everybody online is bullying me, bro. Like, really, bro. I can promise you this on stream for everybody that's watching. I've never cheated in an attorney. I've never never cheated on my pay setter account. Never. All my records are legit. Everything is legit. People were saying I was deep banning all this bullshit. I never did any of that. People don't understand how much hours I actually play in this game, bro. Like I like people watch my gameplay, they see one good game, and they're like, oh, he's cheating. But no. I literally died like 20 times, zero, 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 one kill, like five kills. Never made got so many. Finally get one banger and like Everybody's on my ass for one game, bro. Like, come on. Pace, it doesn't, you're not getting it. Pace, it doesn't matter how many times you say you've done it, bro. You just admitted openly to cheating. That's honestly, I'm, I'm happy you've done it, mate. I'm happy you've done it. Right? I'm happy you've done it. You may not have cheated this time or that time, but that's what I'm telling you, bro. You need to openly admit it and go publicly and tell everyone. Like, I'm pretty sure this is the first time Rafi's hearing that you've admitted you cheated at one point. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter the amount of times you've done it, Pace. It doesn't matter. That's what I'm trying to get to you, bro. That's what I'm saying. Come clean as soon as you can. And then move on from there. Like, tell me. Like, what do you want me to say? Like, I've just told you. Okay, on, on an alt? It doesn't make... Uh, like, Rafi, man, I'm done, bro. I'm done, I'm done. Bro. Like, one game. On... Uh, I'm leaving that. I'm done.
And immediately, and here's my final two cents, I don't want to give too many thoughts on this because there's so many stringents we could really talk about. Once Pace admitted to at least once cheating in his past, he lost all legitimacy. You lose every argument because you have admitted that at least at one point in time in your past, you have decided to cheat in an argument around accusations of cheating, which have been far, far from few in your past. There have been many allegations and again, many accusations against him of cheating. This was just one of those moments that went into deeper, deeper detail with Tommy doing it. Once you admitted that you cheated, even if it wasn't an alt account, you lose your legitimacy with the entire audience. And this is the part where obviously it was incredibly hard to hear, you know, his voice and likely in tears or in the process of being. And it just, it really hurt to watch. It's not fun for me. It's not fun for Tommy. I know it's not fun for Rafi or for Pace the accused, but once you admit to cheating, no one is going to have your back in an argument of which you are trying to defend yourself of more cheating accusations. I really do enjoy Tommy's advice. And if this is the case, because as crazy as, as I am maybe to say this, guys, there is still no 100% confirmation that in this accusation, he was actually cheating. He has in his past. He has faced several accusations since. In this case, though, was he cheating during this event? We still don't know. It's a high probability, certainly. But the fact there is no anti-cheat, now we are still in this difficult boat of trying to denote how we feel on the entire circumstance. I love Tommy's advice for the kid because I have broken down a lot of apologies. I've broken down a lot of responses. The best thing you can do in a lot of these cases, not all of them, but a lot of them, is admit your guilt, admit where you stand, admit what you've done, and move on. You know, I, I again, I could talk about this for a lengthy, lengthy amount of time, but certainly in, in a place like Pace, if he does believe he is truly very, very good at the game without those cheats, admit your guilt in the circumstance, move on, grow from it, learn from it. This will likely be one of the toughest moments of your entire young life to go through. You get through this and you prove people wrong and you still have a chance in this game. And that's where Tommy's trying to say, just admit it. Stop trying to play the game. Stop trying to ignore the facts. Just admit it and move on. It was incredibly tough to watch. I encourage you guys to go watch the VOD from Tommy's point of view and uh, give me your thoughts down below. This has been one of the crazier stories of this week. And again, not very fun to cover, but super curious what you guys think about the ongoing accusations. And hey, you know what? At the end of the day, if you want to fire a shot out there, fire it at Activision and Call of Duty for putting us all through this, okay? Until next time, take care. Drink your wah, drink your ka. I'll catch you back here next time.